April 24th, 2017. That's the day you can mark your calendars that George Soros openly tried to take down InfoWars. Yeah, he funds Media Matters and David Brock and is trying to shut down InfoWars and every other libertarian pro-America group. And sure, he's involved with MSNBC and the WikiLeaks with Hillary trying to steal the election. And sure, he's been caught with the United Nations in the WikiLeaks trying to set up a system where only his news is available to the public. News he approves. But the Nazi collaborator jumped the shark today, April 24th, 2017. He had his Islamicist owned and backed U.S. company openly file suit against InfoWars today for stating information that is part of the public record. They have taken our kindness for weakness and George Soros and his Islamicist buddies are now about to meet, not Alex Jones, but the American people. Let me just first show you a few headlines from today, but also the recent past, just to illustrate what I'm about to lay out to you. Look at this headline, Associated Press Today. Chobani Yogurt Company sues right-wing radio host Alex Jones. And it says because I claim Islamic migrants, quote, refugees are unvetted, which they are, and that 20% or more have TB, and because this guy promotes the importation of these people, I'm a liar, so they're suing me. They also say that he's been caught bringing in Islamicists who have now pled guilty to rape. Well, let me then clarify or correct myself here. I'm not saying he consciously brought in people he thought were going to rape, but people he brought in and force-fed on America have now been implicated, indicted, and have pled guilty to that. But here's what's even crazier. The owner of Chobani, who appeared out of nowhere in the late 1990s here in the United States, immigrated here in 1994, he is on the New York Federal Reserve. That's the New York Fed that under the 1913 Federal Reserve Act controls all the other regional banks in the United States. And Donald Trump is even having trouble removing the New York Fed. So how is this guy who just got here in the 90s on the New York Fed, but citizens can't even get details of what's happening. And he comes here from countries that don't have any freedom. Turkey's now an Islamic dictatorship, threatening to invade Europe if they don't submit. He comes here with, with clear backing of the government of Turkey. Turkey's infiltrated us up one side and down the other. That's admitted. Setting up thousands of public schools, private schools, you name it. They, he shows up out of nowhere gets huge portions of the U.S. lunch program. I'm going to cover that in a moment. Kind of like Carlos Slim, the Mexican kingpin that owns the New York Times, gets the Obama phone contracts billions a year. And then they pick us to file a lawsuit on. And why is that? Because we're the tip of the spear, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to go over all the evidence right now. Here it is. Refreshing to meet George Soros and hear about his work looking forward to collaborating with him and the refugees. That was a couple of years ago, and we now see with the flood of 80% military-age men, the 5 million people in Europe, what's happening here, the giant political snake that is chewing at us. So here's the Aiken Group that George Soros founded. I'm going to show you in a moment. George Soros' law firm that is suing us for reporting on what I'm about to show you all over mainstream news. TB skyrocketing, coming from the Islamicist, uh, what his company's doing, that he's pushing for more unvetted refugees, all of this. But they go on to say that Idaho yogurt maker caught importing migrant rapist. So they threatened me a couple weeks ago with a lawsuit, so we even changed the headlines. They didn't care. They went ahead and filed the lawsuit. Even though you could technically probably argue our headlines, I said, yeah, maybe he didn't know that it's part of the Islamic religion to rape women that aren't attended and put hoods over their heads and enslave them. Maybe he's not really a Muslim, even though he is. But I said, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he's a heretic. So I said, let's not say Let's say people he brought in have been pleading guilty to rape. 
and that TB's exploding from folks being brought in. But let's not, didn't matter to them. Statutorily, it's all about teaching me to shut up, teaching me to back down, teaching all of us to go away, which isn't going to happen. They've taken my kindness for weakness. Oh, Chobani, get ready. Chobani founder gets threats, and the calls are now coming out to boycott, bringing in more refugees. That was last year. That's NBC News, not us. Here's another headline. U.S. yogurt billionaire asks businesses to hire more foreign refugees. Turkish Chobani owner has deep ties to Clinton, global initiative, and Clinton campaign. 2016. Then you turn the page, they have links to it. It turns out he's involved with the Democrats, the unions. He got all this money in, in, uh, from federal government. He spent all this money on lobbying. And then you find out refugee advocate is also on the board of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York while still being a Turkish citizen and has been named eminent advocate for the United Nations Refugee Program, which is run by Peter Sutherland, that says the Islamic invasion is about ending Western civilization and freedom. Under the 1951 convention and the preamble, which all the countries in the world effectively that we're talking about are signatories to, Refugees are the responsibility of the world. The day of hiding behind borders and fences is long gone. We have to work together and to cooperate together to make a better world. So let's look at this international prospectus from international investors titled Alpha Company or Die, looking at the Aiken Group. The firm's New York offices started with three clients. And number three was George Soros. The Aiken Group built out its business from there. The firm's investment management practice now boasts 60 lawyers plus 45 tax attorneys, and they've filed suit on us. So you want me to fight the globalists? You want me to take on the New World Order that hijacked America, opened the borders up, and is bringing in the Islamists here and in Europe? Well, they're going to come after us. So everyone should be conscious. Google just got caught censoring us and had to admit it. Soros and his media matters is openly trying to shut us down. And now they've got lawsuits. Expose it. Speak out against it. Literally, I never knew what Chobani yogurt was. I thought it was a joke the few times I ate it. But again, that's why they target school lunch programs. Because in my opinion, it tastes like dried paint. So I'm being sued for saying Islamists are bringing in TB. I'm being sued for saying that some of them have, you know, been pleading guilty to rape. I'm sure you weren't conscious. Again, I'll retract that. So let's look at the headlines. TB spiked 500% in Twin Falls during 2012 as Chobani yogurt opened the plant. The blessings just continue. Seven refugees with active TB sent to Idaho when they know they have it. 22% of residents refugees in Minnesota tested positive for tuberculosis. It doesn't matter. They're arrogant Muslims running around, you know, killing each other in their own countries. It doesn't matter. We'll roll over to them. We have no common sense. We have no life force. We have no resistance. I do. Report tuberculosis in the United States 2015 CDC exploding. Chobani and Phage face lawsuits over sugar content and Greekness. Oh, Competitors are taking Chobani to court over scare tactics used in its ads. Oh, bullying. Chobani Greek yogurt accused in lawsuit of not being Greek and deceiving customers with nutritional benefits. Oh, but don't worry. You've got a forced school lunch program, don't you? Oh, and the same law firm, big law firm, takes down big conservative blogger. And no one points out Soros was a founding funder. But we will. Don't worry. Turkey says migrant deal has ended. May unleash millions of refugees. And I've got all the headlines just from the last month saying you will let more in or we will burn down Europe. We're launching a holy war, a jihad. And the day after he said it, truck attacks in England and in France. And